Starfield is just hours away from its pre-launch activation. And if you're a Mac gamer, you're probably green with envy at potentially missing out on the launch frenzy of what could be one of the greatest games of the year, or even the decade, with no line in sight as to whether this will ever be natively ported to Mac. Fear not, however, for I have the solution for you. Maybe. You may have heard that the Mac Gaming Toolkit has been able to do miracles. It can run PC Sony exclusives. It can run Skyrim. Naturally, it can even get your mother-in-law to... I'm, I'm sorry, what? That's wrong? Oh, but I... <sighs> Fine. It can even run the hot mess that is Cyberpunk 2077. And so today, we're going to take the first steps into preparing for the Starfield launch. Please note that we don't actually get Starfield running on this video. The purpose of this video is in case you want to try along is to help you get set up with the tools to download and preload Starfield on your Mac. Once the game goes live, a follow-up video will be released with the results. And without further ado, let's jump in. Oh, and before I forget, if you're into Starfield, Steam Deck, or Mac gaming content, please like and subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned for more. So to get Starfield locked and loaded on your Mac, we first need to install the Windows version of Steam. To do that, we're going to use an application called Whiskey, which is based on a older framework called Wine, which used to allow us to run Mac games on older architectures of Mac OS. Whiskey is a newer version that also incorporates Apple's gaming port toolkit. So to do this, we're going to head over to this GitHub URL is in the description below, and we're just going to head over here to releases and download the latest version of whiskey.zip. Now, unfortunately, I didn't record this part, but inside the zip file, you're going to find a whiskey app. We're gonna drag that over to application so we don't lose it in the future. And then we're gonna go ahead and double click it. Now, if you're running this for the first time, it should show you that you've got Rosetta installed and it will ask you to install the Apple game porting toolkit. Go ahead and accept that and it will download and set it up for you. Extremely easy, one click, you don't need to do anything else. Once it's done, you'll be presented with an interface like this. We're going to go ahead and create a new bottle with the operating system as Windows 10 and we can give it any name. In my case, I'm going to call it Steam because we're going to use this to set up Steam. Then the next step is to head over to the Steam website and make sure you download the Windows installer. Once that's done, we're going to click the Open C Drive button here on Whiskey, and that will show us where our Windows files are. We can go ahead and drop the Steam installer in and close it. Then we're going to click on Run and go back to that same Steam installer that you dropped in earlier, and you should find that the Open button turns blue. So we're going to go ahead and click Open, and the Steam installer will start. Go ahead and click through the buttons and install it like you normally would a Windows version of Steam. And once it's done downloading and installing, Whiskey might give you some prompts that, that it might want to use your microphone or some other things. Go ahead and accept that. And eventually you'll see the Steam login screen. Go ahead and log in with your preferred method. In this case, I am using the QR code. And ta-da, we're now into our Steam account. Go over to your library and if you have purchased Starfield Collector's Edition or the Deluxe Edition, you should see the option to preload the game. Go ahead and click preload and the game will start downloading. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please like and subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned, especially if you want to know if the game works once it's made available for everyone. Tune back in here to see if we can actually get Starfield running. Thanks, and I'll catch you on the next one.
missions, and your inventory. We love to pack a ton of detail in every object, from all of your weapons, to spacesuits, to food. We just obsess over the details, and food, we obsess over food. When you're done exploring, you can walk back or fast travel to your ship. We have companions and crew you can take with you. I left Vasco here back at my ship. Welcome back, Captain Howard. And he can even say your name. Let's head out.